All right, guys, so I'm just gonna do a quick, short, and spiffy review of the 16X, the King Song 16X. The alarm started going off. I thought I said it wrong or something, but I was already hitting 27 miles an hour. Holy smokes. Amazing that a few years ago, 30 miles an hour was something. Huh. This place gets crazy high tide. The tire on this is pretty good, man. I love this tire. The purpose of this wheel is off-roading, nothing else. Maybe for like strolling down the street or something like that. But it's just amazing, man, coming from a faster wheel, how you're easily able to reach 27, 30 miles an hour. What I like about it is how it tilts back. Oh, what was oh. oh man slippery just when I was praising the tire this happens of course it's my fault not the wheel I'm not gonna blame the wheel come on straight straight oh, <laughs> oh my god it's too wet didn't plan on falling now be tires Knobby tires, man, all the way. Look how dirty my feet are. Holy smoke. Woo! All you hear is beep, 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 beep. Ugh. Scrape my pedal. Other people would have been able to do this, no problem. These pedals are too slippery. I have zero confidence. Pedals are surprisingly really low. Look at this hill right here. Nah, it's too wet. Ah, that's another thing I hate about this wheel. The moment you lift the handle, this thing right here, it just cuts out on you. But uh, the Inmotion does that, Kingsung does that, but Gotway does not do that. That way you push the cutoff switch and it still has some power going to the wheel so you don't automatically just cut off you know once you let go of it it comes back that's what I love about the gotways but this one just cuts out right away hate that I have some reservations about this handle because sometimes I have a feeling this if it's wiggled the wrong way It'll just cut out on you, you know, unlike Gotway. Like I have so much confidence with Gotway, you have no idea. Even though you can still crash in a Gotway, the confidence I get in terms of how it cuts out is just beautiful. This thing, it has a tilt back, which is a huge advantage compared to the Gotway, but damn, I hate the fact that it just cuts out like that. I really have to get better shoes. There's a little test there. Oh, shit. I missed it by like a inch. Let's see, I don't want to jump over it. Just want to jump on it and then jump off. But overall, the wheel feels beautiful. It really does. If you just stay within the limits, it feels fantastic.
I just can't help but thinking about that cutoff, you know? How it's just immediate. <laughs> There's no, hey, back off. It's just BAM! Ah! I'm trying to find a hill, but I can't find one. One last thing you guys see me ride a sidewalk. Well, I'm on a sidewalk right now. Top speed limit here is 40 miles an hour. This hill looks dry enough, so let's give it a shot. Yeah, it's just too wet, but it's highly capable though. It's a very steep hill. And look at it, pretty steep. I made a massive hole. All right guys, so I'm just gonna do a quick short and spiffy review of the 16X, the Kingsong 16X. I've had this wheel for a while now. So here it is. It's pretty nice. Very, very cool wheel. I like the thickness of the tire, how wide it is. It's really cool. I don't like this tire for off-roading though. Um, it's similar to the uh, tire I have on the MSP. This is the CST. Um, it's too smooth. You know what I mean? Um, best performance is obviously going to be in very dry condition. Another thing I don't like is the pedal. The pedals are very wide, but it could be a lot more grippier. A lot more grippier. Um, you can obviously purchase better pedals. I like the width of the thing. This thing right here is broken because I let someone use it and they cracked it. But you can easily replace this for like 20 bucks maybe $35 but mudguard is gone because of heavy off-roading not from me from the person I bought it from but uh, so far I mean I like this wheel I like the dimensions of it it's honestly it's honestly the only wheel I've ridden from uh, from Kingsong that feels like a Gotway that's a compliment because Gotway is a performance machine it's not really known for anything else other than high performance and the feel you get um, because of this high performance. So this wheel actually does feel very stable. What I don't like about the firmware is how it attempts to keep you up straight every single time. I've gotten over it. All I had to do was ride it a couple. But uh, overall, I give this wheel an A+. It's a really good wheel for 30 miles an hour, 31 miles per hour wheel. Uh, some advantages to this wheel is that like in motion gotway has or um, makes it mandatory um, for tilt back so tilt back is mandatory on this and you can feel it too it's very strong it's not it doesn't startle you in any way it's extremely strong and how it does it so my uh, something I don't like about this tilt back feature is that I'm not sure that if you're if while you're riding the tilt back let's say because that is the max right let's say you decide to push it a little more or you hit a bump uh, while you're on the tilt back will it cut out on you because what I've noticed is if I lift this handle just a little bit let's lift it up hold on if I lift this handle it just cuts out you see that it cuts out right away there is no buffer um, causing it to like dip forward or anything like that just automatic dip that is really disheartening for me because I've grown to love the gotways where if you happen to push um, the cutout switch it doesn't just cut out what happens is it dips and it gives you a little it, it probably goes like I don't know maybe even 45 degrees maybe maybe 45 degrees before it actually cuts out so you have plenty time to back off from a cutout whereas this one immediate in motion immediate but at least at least they have um, the tilt back feature now Gotway does have a um, tilt back feature as well but only up to 30 miles an hour maybe 31 I've tried it at 33 it never worked unless I'm using the wrong app because the Gotway app that I had back then um, maxed out at 30 miles an hour um, EUC world obviously you can range that up as much as you want I tried it didn't work uh, we didn't uh, with the uh, EUC world.
But these pads I created, I highly recommend pads, obviously. This is um, not new for many people, but for those of you who don't know, uh, pads are definitely needed for such wheels. Um, you don't really need it if you're just cruising around town or just going down to, you know, going to the store to come back. But if you plan on doing a heavy off-roading or high-performance riding, pads, definitely. Um, not only for torque or anything like that, but just to uh, hold you in, hold you in place so that you're not uh, too worried about slipping off or anything like that. For example, like I said, these pedals right here, very smooth. I mean, they feel grady uh, to the touch, but um, my got weighs a lot more uh, grippier than that. Plus the type of shoe I'm wearing, as you can see, all the uh, grip is gone. So this is definitely not a good shoe to wear if you plan on doing anything crazy. But also, the speed on this is good for a beginner. It's kind of funny because, well, if you're new to this, then speed might not be a factor for you. But a long time ago, when 30 miles an hour was the top speed, this made sense. And now that I'm riding it at 30 miles an hour, coming from a wheel that's much faster, it just feels really slow. It feels really slow, extremely slow. So this is why I wanted to compete against the M Super um, off-roading. You know, just to see if speed matters. Because off-roading, you know, you get most of your joy with speed and the trail and the experience and the rush. Um, my guess is with this wheel, due to the low speed, it might not be as fun. It just might not be, I don't know. But it's, it's for me, and many other people who ride uh, very fast, um, hearing those beeps all the time at 26, 27 miles an hour is a little disheartening. But um, yeah, overall, it's just a fantastic wheel. So here back here, you have dual ports where you can charge your wheel twice as fast. You have a speaker. Um, the front here, you have uh, ports for charging your phone or whatever it is you want to charge. You have a sensor here to detect um, if it's dark out because there's a mode where you can, you know, have automatic um, uh, light so it turns on and whatever. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. But like I said, my only gripe with this wheel is this handle. Not So the handle itself is very functional. I love it, you know, it's very, very functional. But I don't like the fact that the lift switch is attached to this at all because this happens. You know, you make a mistake, boom, done. You know, um, maybe there's a way to turn that off. I don't know. I'll have to see. I might have to turn it off manually by opening it up, but it's a great wheel. It's a good wheel. Looks it. But I especially like my pads. I really do. <laughs> it fits me perfectly. It's custom. And there are many pads online you can order if you're not into that. It took me like three hours to make this pads. Because you have to do one and then make the other. But, you know, the shell, I'm not sure how hard the guy crashed I lent this to. I don't know how hard he crashed to crack this. Because he cracked it from here all the way up. So I had to tape it with um, electrical tape, but I would not ride this in the rain, obviously, or in any wet condition, because I don't want water getting in here. But as you can see, there's another crack right here. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I'll have to buy a new shell, or not shell, but side panel or something. But I'm not really ambitious about that. Anyway, compared to in motion this this wheel is very similar to in motion okay in terms of how it operates um gotway is in a completely different world all by itself and um yeah i mean why am i reviewing this wheel it's pretty old well it's the only wheel i have right now but also because um it's easy to forget that there are older wheels that are still very much um uh, viable for today's needs so you don't need to spend too much money on a V12, for example, if you really don't need to. You can buy one used. 
like this one but uh yeah guys this is a great wheel if it's your first wheel congratulations because it's really good something really good to load on now it is tall compared to the msx um, as you can see it's a little it's not boxy like the msx but it is tall and if you're like i said if you're new to this it you'll definitely feel like it's top heavy but with pads you can kind of get away with it you might not i don't feel any of the top heaviness um, using this pads also the tire pressure um gotways max is 40 uh this one's 45 so i'd recommend like reducing the pressure a little bit so that you can get rid of some of that um wobbles or anything like that because between the top heaviness and the um tire pressure um can make for a very bad riding experience if you're not sure how to tune it so low pressure if it says 45 and you're light definitely um uh maybe 10 to 20 psi less than what is recommended or what is um specced out but um yeah it's 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 a good wheel but i i don't have as much confidence as i do on the gotway it's i think it's because I, i'm so used to gotways like every wheel i've had uh for my purposes has been gotway in motion was my first wheel that i started with the v5f and uh the v5f I feel drives like the Gotway a lot better. The Gotway, it doesn't help you in any way with standing up straight. Um, this does. It gets in the way of that. It's good and bad, I don't know. Um, in motion doesn't do that. In motion, you know, if you tilt, it tilts. There's no um, gyroscope trying to keep you up. This does. Kind of like the Z10. But in terms of pure performance, I like the Gotway. And I like it. I like it a lot. I'm just nervous of these pedals. Man, they just seem so dangerous if they hit you. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, this is just my short review on this 16X. Um, yeah. Also, I think it's a 2,000 watt motor. Anyway, I'll have to look that up. But it's more powerful than the current off-roading suspension King Song wheel, the KS18S or something like that. Yeah. It's, it's a lot more powerful than um, than that wheel. So if you were to choose between this wheel and the KS18S, I would recommend this wheel. Why? Because you're not really going to need suspension more than you need power. Power is essential for keeping you upright in case of tough situations like climbing crazy hills, jumping rocks, all kinds of stuff. Suspension will give you a good comfort, but in terms of like being stable and being safe, um, you need the torque, you need the motor power. So um, if you if you were deciding between the two, most people would probably go with the 18S because of the, the looks. It looks a lot better. Um, it also has less range. This has a lot more range. So um, I've said in the past that the 18S was a concept that King Song wanted to prove um, to people that it's possible to have a wheel with um with suspension but honestly oh gosh oh. <laughs> Woo! honestly um this they have they did a really good job with this particular wheel and i don't know why well they have their reasons but they did an amazing job with this wheel this is a 1554 1600 uh, rounded out uh watt hour uh battery pack and uh it throttles at a little bit less than 50%. This is something that um, is known for, uh, is known between In Motion and King Song. Uh, Gotway doesn't do that. Um, but I think depending on the firmware you have, you can um, uh, ride at a higher speed, 30 miles an hour, 28 miles an hour, um, <clears throat> if you have the right firmware up down to like, I don't know, maybe 40 something percent, I don't know. but. You can check the electric, electric unicycle forums for that. Anyway, it's a nice wheel. I like the look. I like the look a lot. And the materials they, they use is pretty good. Um, every, every wheel is plastic, but this just feels like a much more solid plastic. And right here is some type of rubberized material. Makes it feel really good, really strong. The front as well. There's rubber material right here. Rubber material right here. 
and the back as well. And um, you have tail lights right here. So if you're on the side, let me see if I can stop it. Yep, there you go. Got some brake lights. But yeah, it's a pretty good wheel. Highly recommended for new riders. I highly recommend it for new riders. And um, it's a no-brainer between the 18S and um, and the 16X. This is definitely my recommendation. You just feel solid. Yeah, the body panels on the KS 18S is no good. This is solid, you know. So anyway, guys, um, take it easy. I hope you make a good choice if this is your first uh, electric unicycle. So for new people, like I said, the 16X is a really good wheel if it's your first wheel. So peace out.